God's ways are wonderful. There's no doubt about that. God knows the best for everything and every part of our lives. He's got a way. Uh, we often say in human terms, that person has got a way of doing things. But God has got a way for doing everything. And it's the preferred and superb way. It's the way that delivers the best results. Because He's our creator. He's the designer, the architect of all of life and of all human beings. So these power videos that we're doing are all about us getting to know more of God's way so that we can live um, the best life ever. But today I want to speak a little bit more about uh, maybe the ways of the Lord in, in a sense that we have a role to play in His ways. And I trust it will make sense in a moment's time for you. Uh, let me just start off by saying I believe we need to view God's ways on two dimensions. Firstly, God's ways are about directions. Um, it's like you and my, me explaining something uh, in terms of direction to somebody to find a certain town or a certain shop or a store somewhere. We say you take the first road here left and right and, and then you reach it. Um, so God's ways include a directional aspect. I, I think of an arrow. You shoot an arrow to travel somewhere specifically. So God's ways are directional of nature. But the flip side of the coin is that God's ways are also about attitudes and actions. And it's about how we do life, how we live with the people around us, uh, and especially our attitudes. So I'm thinking about arrows and attitudes. Um, if you can think about God's ways on these two dimensions, directional, the arrows, and then in terms of our actions and attitudes, that's very important. Um, I want to, in the, in the future, speak a little bit more on the part about the actions and attitudes and use Jesus' uh, wonderful words in Matthew 5, 6 and 7, where he speaks about how we do life as believers in God and the way we do life. But having said all of that, I want to come back to just saying this. One of the people that spoke about the ways of the Lord was John the Baptist. Uh, the forerunner of Jesus, the one who announced that the Messiah is coming, the Messiah is coming. And very important, I do believe that each one of us have a role to play as a modern John the Baptist, uh, gender neutral in that sense. So it's for ladies and men, all of us. And the role is this. John announced that he was there to prepare the way of the Lord. Uh, may I paraphrase that a little bit and say that I believe all of us have a calling in life as Christian believers to call people to the way of the Lord. Now, as I've said in my example that I believe that the way is directional, we, we can point people somewhere. We can say, no, to reach this city, you've got to take this road and turn left and right there. So we need to act like John the Baptist as people that direct those around us to the ways of the Lord. But please remember there's one condition for that. You can't tell somebody how to get somewhere if you've not been there yourself, if you don't know the way. So we are called to walk in God's ways. We are all called to walk in following Jesus in God's ways so that we can also point others to the way. And just for interest sake, in Acts uh, chapter 9 and verse 2, we read in the early days that the Christians were known as the people of the way. So I want to encourage you that you and I will live with that purpose, that we are not just following God's way because it's the best way, but that we are the people who point others to the ways of the Lord, to say, man, you've tried your own way and, and, and this has happened and that's happened, but come God's way, do life God's way, and that we can point them to God's ways. I do believe that it starts with us pointing people to Jesus, who we learn from uh, reading from John chapter 14 and verse 6, that Jesus proclaimed, I am the way, the truth and the life. So be before we talk about direction and attitude and whatever, it's our calling like John the Baptist to point people to Jesus who is the way. And through that, that they can find God's ways for their life, the direction and the how to do life part. And I believe that's our calling. No matter 
who you are, what kind of job you do, what kind of spiritual gifting you may have, but we're all called to point people to Jesus as the way and through that, that they may find the ways of the Lord for everything in life. I trust that you will take this to heart and practice it and live it. So I want to pray right now for you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would strengthen us to show people the way to you by the way we live, the way we're following you, not so much with our words, but with our actions, mainly in our attitude, Lord. And Lord, I do pray that you will make us clear signposts in this world to point people to you and how to do life your way by being living examples of that. I trust that people will become excited as they receive this prayer to act as those who point the way to Jesus, the way, and his way of doing things. Amen.